three as we keep moving forward on the Gold Coast. Still early on the card. A big couple of weeks there with a big feature day next week. But two and a half minutes away from the uh, two-year-old Phillies feature, Aquas Gold Pearl, where $2 Arabian Summer just gets out from odds on. Uh, $3.90 after hitting $4.20 for Moulin Miss and Territory Ash, a four eighty chance, holding firm in the market too. And Aqua Tempo even has had some support from big prices now into around the $13 mark. Gator, this Arabian summer looks uh, very, very handy win down at Ballarat. Gee, it was a terrific win, wasn't it? Uh, I know, as it turned out, it was a great day to be up on speed on fence, but the way she raced away was um, was exceptional. Um, even the Flemington run prior then in a group three, she had just laid in bed. She looked all at sea up the straight, still ran well, and debut second likely ran into a good one there in Coleman so look more than happy that way this debutante Mulan misses child impressively in fast time no surprise listening to you there that Aqua Tempo's uh, been supported at, at odds I thought she was the best value runner in the race and I uh, didn't have the most peaceful run on debut with a $2.45 favourite should be better for that gets on drier ground here as well so as I say perhaps the best roughy Territory Ash next 1872 Rule or miss, Brad. Those trials sort of caught your eye as well around the 420 mark. Thinking you can give some cheek against the favourite? Yeah, look, I think the favourite's pretty hard to knock. Um, normally that Ballarat race is, is pretty weak, but not this year. We've seen parkour come out of it. and um, But this horse has trialled well in really good time, all and miss. And heard Tony Gollan on radio there in, in Queensland during the week and was quite bullish about this Philly's chance. I don't believe she's magic means, don't quote me, but I know one of them wasn't magic means and it might be this one but um yeah look expecting her to run really well here on debut obviously it's, tr it's hard isn't it to to win these types of races on debut it's not easy but um he couldn't have been more bullish about her prospects as a horse uh, tony golan that's for sure so um keep her in whatever you do exotics wise but uh yeah i mean i can't i can't knock the the favorite does look hard to beat uh, second horse has won third horse run well since time was good as well but i'm expecting this uh, more than miss to run well Arabian Summer Gator at last check was about a $10, $11 chance for the big feature there next week. Yeah, we'll see how all that plays out. Obviously a different beast, isn't it, at 1,200? Generally a lot more pressure, but um, yeah, we'll be wiser after it. But from what we've seen so far, there's a lot to like and um, you know, certainly some substance on the clock and, and some strong subsequent impressive winner. Brad's touched on Parker, who looked terrific winning in Sydney recently. All right, so we had the boys' edition, the gold nugget in race number two. Now it's time for the uh, Aquas Gold Pearl for the two-year-old fillies. Arabian Summer, the clear favourite. Moolah miss at 4.20. Uh, they're starting to get set. Let's get out to Mitch at the Gold Coast. Now, Territory Ash about to come up. Mashani Express with the black cap on getting ready. So first uh, two have been placed away now. So we'll see if there's a trim up in the market for next week after the Phillies division. Spywire now a $6 chance after a pretty soft victory in the gold nugget in the end. He was attacked mid-race. He saw that challenge off and he came clear for a soft victory by two and a half lengths running class record time. Now, they just couldn't quite get Mashani Crown in at the first attempt with the red cap on with Sam Collett in the saddle. Merlin Miss about to get ready. Arabian Summer is drawn a middle stall yet to load. So four out. She's a chickatita away from the gates as well. Now they'll have another attempt here with Mashani Crown. This is start number four for this filly. She ploughed through the heavy track at Ipswich to win last start. She's got to the back of the gate again, but just won't let them fully load, and now she's right. So she's been placed away, so three out now. Moulin Miss, 370 out to $4.20 on the second line of betting. Territory Ash has just eased out to $5. Now Arabian Summer's getting ready. Moulin Miss will take another attempt. Mashani Crown a little restless after they got that filly into the stalls. Now Moulin Miss goes in. And uh, she's a Chikatita will be the last to load. Sam Collett just up in the structure at the moment with Mashani Crown. 
She's a Chikatita goes in. We're set to go at the 1100. Aquas Gold Pearl. Set. They're off and racing now. Arabian Summer was in the back half of the field at the jump. Mashani crowned the first into stride. Merlin Miss showing good speed to eyeball it and take the lead. Arabian Summer up into third spot. Then followed Mashani Ego. Territory Ash settles down fifth. Two lengths away, Mashani Express. Aqua Tempo. And she's a Chikatita as last of all. It's Merlin Miss narrowly with Mashani Crown driving through to hold the rail. Two lengths away, Arabian Summer in third inside the 600. Fourth the inside, Mashani Ego. Then followed Territory Ash and Mashani Express. Two back. Back to Aqua Tempo, she's a Chikatita. Home bend now, 425, left the run. Mashani crowned narrowly from Merlin Miss. Arabian Summer now presents three out. Back to the inside, Mashani Ego. Then followed Territory Ash and next Mashani Express. 250 metres left the run. Arabian Summer moved up and struck the front here from Mashani Crown. Then Merlin Miss, they're lining up for the miners. But in the meantime, Arabian Summer's off and gone. Arabian Summer, too good in the gold pearl. Won it by almost three. Mashani Mashani Crown held second. Merlin Miss prominent for third with Territory Ash and then Mashani Express. Next in was She's a Chikatita. Big win there on the Gold Coast. Impressive racing away. Arabian Summer pays around the 220 mark. Harry Coffey, a nice confident steer, took the trail and kicked away from Mashani Crown and Merlin Miss. They're getting set very quickly. Uh, Queen Bien, Gators thoughts the Gold Coast and it's Geelong, which is fast approaching.